Hey there, people! So welcome to our new playthrough, Terraria 1.4 Journey's End Master Mode Difficulty Multiplayer. That's right, uh, I'm going to be playing this with three of my good friends. We are going to play all the way through the new Journey's End update on Master Mode, the hardest difficulty. <laughs> Uh, all the way to the end and these guys, you know, we, we last time we played we played normal difficulty And we didn't even make it to the wall of flesh So it's gonna be quite funny and interesting to watch us try to tackle uh, Master mode now that being said uh, I have been coaching these guys a little they've been playing a little on their own So hopefully we're gonna do okay, but we're gonna see how it goes I think it's gonna be fun. So stay tuned and let's get to it All right, welcome to the game gentlemen <laughs> red man <laughs> Okay, that's gotta be George. All right. Oh wow. <laughs> Let's not make a graveyard right here just yet. <laughs> um, so, Man, who was that? That was that was me, of course. <laughs> I'm the resident <laughs> expert, right? <laughs> Apparently. All right, I'm back. So yes, we'll need to deforest the area, and uh, that was fun. Um, so yeah, I don't know if you guys knew, but uh, you can actually point the short sword where it goes now, which is tremendously useful, actually. I guess we should get in the habit of protecting each other and that kind of thing. <laughs> we might want to uh, yeah. use the buddy system. <laughs> I just realized I don't have like the item from the eye, mm. so I can't dash. Yeah, I know, you get used to those kind of things. Okay, so like, I'm double tapping A all the time. <laughs> yeah, I, I do the same thing, like, and I'm, I'm always trying to double jump and that kind of thing, and it's like, ah. Why is that Where's not working? Where's my oh, hookshot, right. Tom? Yeah. Well, well, we'll get there, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah, I think Tommy should start building stuff. Yeah, that's actually exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm already on the building. So I'm making us a little house. Yeah, I got a lemon. Yeah, so you can shake the trees. You can actually run by the trees and just like whack them with your axe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so you can run by the trees and whack them with your axe and, and sometimes you'll get stuff. Or sometimes just squirrels or birds will fall out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Did you guys get a chance to actually play the update or just practice with the old version? No, I played the update. I did not play the update, so I'm like completely new to this. All right. Ooh, I got a chest already. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm I'm going with a slightly new uh, construction thing here, where I'm gonna do like two layers of chests because that's always a thing that we always need more of, right? Oh, it seems to be like some sort of little cave system oh, actually, already. I need this one higher. Yeah. Ah, this is a really nice like slope for a cave. Yeah, I think they've done things to make that a little nicer, too. Like yeah, it, I noticed it, that it, both the worlds I generated had uh, fairly nice cave systems somewhat yeah. close to the base. Yeah, yeah. Like, really everywhere, like, because I did, I did an eight and a half hour live stream. And, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I explored it a lot, and... Uh, <laughs> And basically, I found a lot of cave entrances and uh, and a lot of nice tunnels and everything. I don't know if you guys can see um, the backgrounds even are improved. Like there's parallax scrolling, and you'll see like hot air balloons flying by and stuff. It's really neat. I'm I'm really enjoying the update. Ooh, a recall. Ooh, I got a mirror. Nice. That's a nice. Nice. Find. Very nice. That's like yeah, I consider a, that one of my like required items in the game, at least before pilot. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I think, I think you still need the mirror there. because like pylons are two uh, two location specific, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you you can only beam back um, to that location, right? So my favorite new thing though is the opening doors without having to click them because I'm <laughs> yeah. really bad at clicking them. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a thing. Um, yeah, I'm trailing off a lot because I'm trying to build at the same time as I'm talking. But yeah, um, the pylons, you can only beam from one pylon to another pylon, right? So... Oh, shit. Oh, I better get some more wood. Stupid warm thing. Well, you guys really deforested this area. <laughs> like, I need more wood. It's all gone. I'm literally fleeing into the cave out of fear of these three slimes. Oh, God. 
That was a close call. And I want a better pick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have no torches. Really, even the simplest pickaxe upgrade will give you um, just one more reach, <laughs> at least. That alone is worth something. Man, being able to shoot downwards is so much good. better. <laughs> it really is. Upwards, too, because sometimes you have, like, those... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the double team. I will say I do like the uh, re the respawn counter. Oh, shoot. Yeah. yeah. The respawn counter is great. Yeah. can drop some materials for you. I apparently have 17 lead bars already. Nice. <laughs> Just trying to build here. Demon eye. Is that George that's all outfitted in wooden armor already? That's me. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Those are yes. <laughs> hey, three additional armor is nothing to scoff at. <laughs> well, absolutely. I, I've just been too busy uh, building the house. I'm just trying to save us all here. Which, you know, isn't working yet. Oh, also, that's a pretty good find for right at the beginning. What's that? Uh, an extractinator. Oh, nice, yeah. Down our base. Sweet. That is a very good find. Yeah, I had a ton of trouble getting one of those in my stream. Okay, I feel like we, we're going to end up with a graveyard. <laughs> well, at least with extractinator, it means our money problems are solved. I am, by the way, staying inside for the drink. I also see that they've uh, updated the Falling Star graphics. Yeah, yeah, it looks amazing now. There's a lot of, there's a ton of stuff that's just like aesthetics. Um, like they've updated a ton of sprites, and some of them are really subtle. Like you wouldn't notice if you wouldn't, weren't really looking for it. And look at that, there's a zombie with a torch now. So you have various zombies with torches at this point. I love those guys. You get so many torches from them. <laughs> yeah, they really do give you a lot of torches. Oh. Yikes. oh, we are totally forming a graveyard. <laughs> yeah, Phil and I are hiding inside oh, at this point. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, here comes the graveyard. Basically, uh, all these monsters basically <laughs> camped at our spawn point. Uh -huh. Well, you guys are out there fighting them like silly people. I, we're, Phil and I oh, are hiding inside. Guy, I was just there and I died. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think we've got graveyard music to, now, too. If we're not careful, we're going to have ghosts everywhere. Okay, I'm going to get this one, actually. Oh, okay, you got that already. I figured this was a safer. <laughs> yeah, I, I got, got ghosts. There was a graveyard on top of the workbench, so I guess that was the graveyard, or the gravestone that turned it into the graveyard. That was the one that put it over the edge. <laughs> Just happened to be sitting right on top of the workbench. Oh, nice. Anvil. There we go. Yeah, sorry for dragging that ghost over to whoever it is. <laughs> so I think it's George. Yeah, I think possibly right. every time you die, a ghost generates, so you might want to keep that in mind. No, it's uh, when you get the kick out the gravestones. I did that uh, earlier. Oh, is it when you mine them out? Yeah, when you take out a gravestone, you get a ghost. Oh, interesting. Mm. No, the guy. Oh. Well, he'll respawn in one of these houses, maybe. Uh, actually, if I finish this. All right, first valid NPC house. Who let the zombies in? <laughs> that was me. Nice. Oh god, it's one of the extendo grip zombies, too. Now we're back to gravestone land. Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, don't don't let the zombies in, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the new door mechanics are tricky. <laughs> I really tried to make it difficult for them to get in. Can he? Oh damn it! Now I let another one in. Oh, but they they came out. All right. Wow. 
You know, I thought maybe we might end up with a <laughs> graveyard by our spawn, but I didn't think we'd end up with such a serious graveyard so fast. Uh, you forget who you're playing with. <laughs> and we're gonna tackle Master Mode. All right. <laughs> Look, it's just the first night. The first night's always trouble. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting when we get into hard mode too. <laughs> I mean, I want to mine out all these gravestones, but <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah. Damn. Yeah. God Bill damn might it. be right, because I mined out a gravestone and a ghost came. Huh. If you mine out, no wait, I just mined Paul's uh, gravestone. Mm. Maybe you haven't seen the ghost yet. This is gonna slaughter me too. Was he waiting for me? Oh, he had his on. Is he a vengeful ghost? Ah, uh, I was literally sandwiched between the zombie and the ghost. <laughs> Nuts. Oh, that ghost's almost dead though. Yeah, I oh. shot him a lot with uh, with there my go. bow. Nice, yo yo, good strategy. Yo yos are great actually. Okay, so yeah, I think it stays night in the area of the graveyard. <laughs> so, uh, That's not know. good. Yeah. That's why we don't want a graveyard by our spawn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ghosts are coming. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not so good. <laughs> yeah, everyone... It's like gravestones. Try to dig up some gravestones, basically. Yeah, I wonder if we try to dig the ground out from under the gravestones. Will that save us from the ghosts? I'm just going to see if... Yeah, it is daytime if you leave the area. <laughs> I think that might have worked, actually. And yeah, zombies do... They're still sticking around the graveyard, so... <laughs> That's I'm going to dig... Yeah, I think digging underneath the gravestones. Um, so the ghosts don't go away during the day. No. There we go. Yeah. Let's uh, dig under the gravestones. <laughs> yeah, dig under the gravestones. Dig under the gravestones. <laughs> oh, we there we the go, we're fine. Yeah, everything's fine now. I'm just going to fill in the holes because they annoy me. <laughs> so I guess you guys have explored the uh, underground probably pretty well here by now, right? It's pretty far in, but uh, still. Okay. Okay, I found the desert and then got slaughtered by a vulture. Nice. Yeah, desert's actually not as bad as it was in the last update. Because um, they made it, like, way harder, but then they turned around and made it a little easier again. <laughs> yeah, this goes actually quite a bit. Yeah, I figured, I saw you guys had gone that way, so I'm like, okay, I'll just see what's in this little, you know, side area here. And actually, there's... Seems to be a decent amount. I mean, I'm not gonna probably get anything too great going like so close to the surface, but just the fact that I can find caves so easily. Yeah, this uh, this is pretty extensive. I don't know if they're a new thing or is it was just the world I had created, yeah. but I found a lot of like gem trees. Yeah, that's a new thing. Down. Yeah, that's definitely a new thing. Um, so okay. you can actually turn acorns plus a gem. You can actually make a gem corn, which you can then plant underground as to create one of those gem trees. Ah, nice. Slimes are definitely more aggressive. They pursue you even if you haven't damaged them. <laughs> it's not like normal mode where they'll only pursue you if you hurt them first. Speaking of, George just got wasted by one apparently. Oh, so did I. <laughs> Right after him. Can right. we do something That's about why. that? Oh, yeah. shoot. Uh, big stupid worm thing. <laughs> I need to get a better sword. I need to get a better lot of things. I hate having weird... Ooh, speaking of those gem trees. Oh, you found one? Your lack yeah. of uh, furnace disturbs me. I'm gonna put one in. Amber tree. Got like a whole bunch of amber gem corns. Nice. 
And my first uh, life crystal. Sweet. Oh, and uh, railroad tracks. Also sweet. Yeah, oh, actually, I, yeah. I think the minecart tracks, um, it seems like they've made them more extensive in terms of, I don't know if there's more of them, but certainly uh -huh. I found one that I was like it. really, really long. If you follow my train of choices, you'll get to the railroad track and my grave. <laughs> oh yeah, we should set up our team, by the way. What team color do we want to be? Let's go blue. All right. Any arguments with that? <laughs> Red. <laughs> <laughs> There's controversy. So I really should use that yo-yo. If you wander the desert, you can make a cactus sword. Yeah, they're actually yeah, they're... not quite as good now, though. Yeah, they kind of suck. I've got one. Yeah. Yeah, they nerfed the cactus stuff because it was kind of everybody's go-to right at the beginning. Quick, run to the desert, get cactus. Oh my god, it was so overpowered when it first came out. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. My alternative now is uh, Shadewood or Ebonwood. Speaking of which, somebody said they got to the evil. Was it red or purple? Purple. Uh -huh. Okay, so we've got a corruption world, because I just put it on random. <laughs> <laughs> I have a suspicious looking eye. I should use it right away, right? <laughs> well, how much do you want to die? Suspicious. What could be wrong with that? <laughs> I guess I can actually go out into the world now. I fell in a mysterious dark hole and died. Ray. Oh, actually, you know what? I Speaking of dying, I just when I was going to venture out into the world, that was a perfect reminder that I should try to make a bed. Ooh, the nurse is here. Hello, nurse. So I now have a tungsten bow. Yay. Ray. Good job. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got a zombie dropped on me. For a skeleton. Okay, so I put a bed, which means uh, we can now use that to set our spawn. You can also lay in it. Great. Because <laughs> that's a thing now. I, I need to go find some heart crystals or something, because I do not have a lot of life. Yeah. I, I, I think all of us are going to not build. <laughs> yeah, I've barely even been anywhere yet. <laughs> I've just been <laughs> sitting here building the house. <laughs> We have been bringing you materials. That's true, I appreciate that. Oh wow, we got a diamond gem corn, nice. Yeah, I found a diamond tree. Sweet. Wow, that's, I I definitely didn't see that in eight and a half hours yesterday, so. <laughs> I, I found one in my like solo playthrough. It must be because basically I just go down a cave and then I die and then I just <laughs> go down the cave slightly further. <laughs> right. That's how I play. Well, to be fair, that's a general strategy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. So it's me again. And uh, this is just the pre-recorded outro to let you know that that's the end of this episode. But don't worry. There's going to be a lot more coming. We are planning on going all the way to the end of the game. So stay tuned. And if you liked seeing us play games together, check out my second channel, actually. Um, our second channel, which is Mass Distract Gaming, where we play various uh, games just for fun together. Uh, nothing strategic about that, but uh, check that out if you like. And otherwise, I hope you'll stick around for this series and on this channel, where we play a lot of Terraria and I'll have guides and so on. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.